I, I would like to thank you very much for all uh, for attending the today's webin webinar on the V-Verifier product. The, the purpose uh, and the objective of today's presentation is to make you all aware about the uh, V-Verifier uh, product. So, uh, yeah. So, this presentation, uh, I will be uh, covering these topics. First, uh, uh, firstly, we shall looking at the uh, what is we, we, we verifier, what it is used, who can use, and what is the content of the kit, and what are the tests that this uh, product will do uh, for the um, uh, inverters. And after that, uh, we will take a look at the live uh, kind of live demo session uh, on the product, uh, which will be uh, uh, carried by Vignesh San. And finally, uh, we, we, uh, and finally, Pradeep San talk about uh, about the benefits of the we verify purchase that uh, our ASC partners will going to get. So uh, yeah, and. Uh, if if you have any question, I shall be very happy to answer uh, any question at any point of time. Please feel to interrupt me with any question you have. Thank you. Uh, to start with, uh, so so we verifier kit uh, we have developed is uh, is for the service engineer who can uh, who can test. Uh, who can test the uh, we, we, uh, test the uh, VFDs uh, after the services? So it's uh, so it will help to eliminate the manual checks and reports. So uh, this way bracket is very user friendly, plug and play, I would say, and uh, and it's very uh, uh, PC-like hardware, compact and easy to carry uh, to the site if required. And the report which we, uh, which we, it will generate through the uh, through the application, we can upload those authenticate report to the service portal. So, uh, so we very uh, so we verifier uh, is come uh, is uh, is a kit is component of the two things. Uh, one is the software which we can uh, install on the on the PC, uh, Windows PC application, uh, and we can install the software with Windows 7 and above OS. And along with it, we have the light uh, PC-like hardware, PC-like hardware, uh, which is way, uh, uh, which is lightweight and easy to carry uh, on the site. So what the application uh, will do so it will examine the uh, examine the various drive and confirm the functionality after repair and services so uh, we can examine the a1000 v1000 g7 ga700 and ga500 so whenever any drives comes for repair after repair we can check the uh, functionality whether everything is working fine uh, with respect to the vfp functionality So uh, in we we verifier kit, we are uh, these are the component we are going to provide along with the kit. So we we have the power cable uh, to connect the power supply to the we verifier box, uh, and we have the special cable which will connect to the uh, VFDs and the we verifier panel. So this is 50 pin connector, and it is very easy to connect to the um, uh, connect to the VFDs as we have developed the special cable. So so no need to um, connect each and every cable manually. So we have the script. So one time we can connect and test. It's very easy, and it it, it will take minimum one one to two minutes to to do the setups. So we we will provide the Ethernet cable uh, in a, for the communication purpose, and we have the motor cable, so which we which will we will connect output to the panels. So uh, the connection. Uh, so this uh, slide shows the connection. So we have provide. Uh, we have. So this connection is for the 230 volt supply for the panel. Uh, this port is for the communication port to the uh, supply and this 50 pin connector which we will connect other side to the VFDs. This kind of uh, arrangement we have made. So 
you can see here that there is one strip we can which we can insert in the control card uh, and it will be ready so no need to connect individual cable to the control cards and this cable is for the motor connections for the vfds so basically um, uh, it's very simple uh, interface allows the uh, service engineer to connect uh, to connect the v verifier uh, software to the uh, to the uh, panel with the help of ethernet cable and uh, and we can connect the uh, inverter uh, with the special cable which is 50 pin cable to the uh, uh, panels so we can launch the application uh, to the uh, windows application and run these steps so basically the test finish in these three steps so the we it categorized the three step so first we will do the after connections um, of the uh, panels after we will connect uh, every panel uh, every connection so we can the ui will do the uh, basically three step one is visual step then motor test and ios test so and and this uh, tool is compatible for 200 voltage class and 400 voltage uh, class for all the uh, drive uh, which is a1000 v1000 j700 j500 and g7 and also a1000 crane uh, vfds as well so first i told uh, visual state so uh, visual states we can do uh, the whether the supply is connected properly or not if the supply is not connected user will get the uh, pop up that uh, vfd supply is not connected so we need to check whether the inverter output cable is connected so we need to make sure that everything uh, before any test everything is uh, um, uh, connected properly so those things uh, we will validate in the uh, visual uh, test so uh, by demo we will uh, most of the thing will we will clarify while giving the live demo so here we will uh, uh, test the temperature of the drive and uh, we will uh, go uh, further so uh, this uh, second step is to test the motor uh, motor test so in motor test we will going to test the reverse and forward uh, functionality vbf test emergency start stop step is cooling fan this is the visual step whether the cooling fan is on or on and this step uh, it will be uh, it will be available where the uh, where the uh, where in the drive model the cooling fan is available if suppose in this drive mode the cooling file is not available then it will not show on the screen so uh, last stage is the io io test we are going to so it's the fully automatic test so user no need to uh, click any any things so it will uh, run um, through the complete automatic way so it will test all the ios input outputs uh, digital input digital outputs analog input analog output and pulse input output as well and so, um, so we will uh, and one more test we will do we buy up test it will um, it will uh, it will uh, test the application with all the phases whether all the phases are having the proper voltage with the proper current uh, with the voltage engine so this test we will do um, it will be fully automated in that test we will run two times reverse and two times uh, forward motor with the 50 hertz so after uh, after test reports this application will uh, will provide the detail uh, reports of the test so here uh, everything is passed it will show 100% test cases is passed and this uh, quality symbols will be appear and individual test results also we can see in the detailed reports if some tests are failing then it will show suppose 99% 98% is passed and 2% is failed and which which two percent is we can we can see from the report instead of pass it will display the fail so so it will help uh, uh, everybody uh, service especially service engineer repair engineer to test uh, to validate and confirm after repair everything is uh, working fine by 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 uploading these reports to the 
so uh, this tool will benefit um, means it will uh, eliminate the human error so it it we can share this report directly to the customer and reduce the uh, um, uh, manual time to test the drive after repair and this report we can upload uh, to the uh, sms portal and so, so that in future also we will have uh, we will have this report in hand uh, for the for the history purpose and if there is any problem what uh, what kind of whether the test has passed um, all the test is passed 100 percent so we can see at any point of time after once we upload the uh, reports on the service portal yeah uh, any any questions till now Hello. Mr. Rohit uh, from MEFA has raised his hand. So can you please uh, put your mic on? Can you please talk? Yeah, Mr. Rohit. OK. OK, carry on. Uh, we can at yeah. end of this session we'll have. So question. yeah. So now we are. Yes, I think. Can we can we check L1000 also with this V verifier? Yeah, uh, no, uh, currently we have not added. Uh, we are now with this version. We, we can only test V1000, A1000, uh, GA700, GA500 and G7. OK, one Have more it. thing we can send. Uh, in yeah. A1000 drive, some of the drive we have supplied with uh, European terminal card. That also okay. we can. Uh, then for that I need to see because currently uh, if the card uh, input output uh, it's same, miss connections. If it if connection is say is same, then we can uh, in uh, we can do the test. If the connection are different, then we need to modify this special cable. Because the cable which we have developed, uh, 50 pin cables, it's uh, with my uh, keeping in mind the Indian version of the drive. Okay. Control okay. cord. Yeah. Thank you, Vita. Yeah. yeah, thank you. So, next, uh, uh, I, I request uh, uh, Vignesh San uh, to, to proceed with the live demo. Uh, today, I'll just be giving a brief demo of how this kit basically operates when we connect it to the VSB and the motor. So in the simultaneous screens, we can see uh, how the motor behaves and the drive behaves as per the actions we complete in the uh, user interface of the VVD in the laptop. So I will start. So this, uh, when we uh, connect the laptop to the VVD kit, so this is the first screen which will come up. This is known as the VRFR splash screen, where the user has to enter the uh, name and the ticket number. So this screen is uh, to make sure that who like to verify who is running this particular test, because this inspector name and this ticket number is what will be printed in the final report. So it is important that we enter the correct details over here, and uh, this particular screen has to be. Uh, Feed when the drive is connected. We should not proceed with uh, this particular screen if the drive is not connected, since this will also uh, enable initialization of the drive. For example, if you do not connect the drive and you go ahead with this screen operation, you may not get the required results and you may get a communication error. So I'll just give you a brief overview of how to operate. So, for testing purpose, uh, we'll be just entering a test. ID or a test ticket number and once you press login you can see that it will show connecting two device so this is where the testing uh, happens the communication testing between the verifier and the actual software it is presented in the laptop so this process will take uh, some time to establish the connection and once the connection is established you get a new so in the new screen, you will get the option to choose which model of VFD you want to test. 
So the V thousand, as you know, V thousand has different set of I/O terminals. The V seven has different set of I/O terminals, and every drive has its own set of I/O terminals. So for different uh, uh, VFDs, we have different sets of tests, and only for this purpose, we, it is important to select the correct VFD. So for example, if we connect A thousand and we connect the VA, select V seven as a model over here, the test will fail, and you may not able to. Proceed with the motor test or I/O test, which will lead to an error. So, for in this example, as you can see on the right side, we have an A1000 drive, and uh, on the right side bottom, where reverse and forward has been mentioned for easy understanding, is the motor. So, here when we press the proceed button, we will be coming to the visual inspection screen on the software. So, this visual inspection screen. So whatever ticket number has been entered in the first screen automatically be uh, sent over here, and we need to enter the proper supply voltage for the VFD. This helps us in understanding whether it's a 200 volt class drive or a 400 volt class drive. So it is very important we enter the correct voltage class over here. Similarly, we will enter the drive serial number. So for testing purpose, we'll just go ahead. Uh, we need to enter the correct model number, complete model number, including CIMR, and the revision, which is usually A. Next, we need to physically verify the switches which are available on the terminal board. So, for example, we know that there is a jumper available in A1000 with S3 terminology for external supply or uh, the PNP connection. So that uh, has to be To external supply when we use the V verifier. Similarly, the S1 dip switch, which is used for analog terminal, we should uh, ensure that if it is in current, we need to select current over here, and if it is voltage, we need to select voltage over here. Next, we will there is a checkpoint for verifying if all the hardware cables are connected, like within turn and explain in this PPT. The hardware cables constitute of the 50 pin connector. And also the Modbus connection along with the Ethernet cable. So all cables have to be connected before we proceed with the testing. So this is just a checklist to ensure that all the cables are connected. Once everything is connected, we can press this drive power on button. So once everything is okay, uh, the initial setup in the VFD, where the required parameter verification and other verification will start happening. So this will take some time. Uh, the first initial setup, and once the initial setup is complete, we will proceed with the charging lamp test. So the charging lamp test is a physical verification of whether the charging lamp is working. The service engineer has to physically verify if the charging LED is on, and then he has to select yes or no based on the results. So once the charging lamp LED test is complete. we will again go ahead with the temperature test so in ideal condition or in a, a room temperature environment it is uh, recommended that the temperature of the vfd be below 40 degrees celsius so right now it is 28 degrees as measured from this particular drive so that is a uh, pass off next we go to the motor test so in motor test uh, we have reverse run and forward run so If you if you press the run button over here, you can see that the motor starts rotating in reverse, as you can see on the left side of the screen. And this will start rotating for 10 seconds at a frequency reference of 3 hertz, as you can see on the display. So this is automatic. You have to press the run button over here, and the motor will start rotating in reverse. So after 10 seconds, we need to verify that the direction of rotation is correct, whether it is in reverse. So after the test is complete, we will proceed with the similar test for forward run, where the motor will run in forward direction for 10 seconds and at 3 hertz, so that we can verify that both forward and reverse direction of motor is properly tuned. Next, we have the cooling fan test. So suppose if the VFD doesn't have a cooling fan for smaller ratings like 4 ampere or 2 ampere VFDs, where we don't have cooling fans, this particular test will not be displayed over here. So based on what model you enter, the tests are decided. So it is very important to enter the correct model number. And if you enter the wrong model number, the 
the vverifier will detect that the connected vfd and the testing vfd uh, is mismatching and it will not allow you to proceed so the vverifier has a verification point where it will compare the model you enter and the existing model it will read the data from inside the vfd and match the details so wrong entry will create a mismatch and it will not allow the user to proceed with the test next we have the physical verification of the dc bus voltage in the terminal of the vfd so this again helps us in uh, verifying whether the actual voltage is entered once we enter the dc bus voltage we will start the v bias test so in this v bias test the motor will rotate in 50 hertz as you can see in the display of the vfd and it will run in forward as well as reverse it will change direction uh, multiple times uh, so roughly six times and it will ensure that equal, the current distribution and the voltage distribution is balanced across all three phases and there is no problem in the igbt or uh, uh, firing so that you get an imbalance so this test uh, will roughly take around 3 minutes where uh, the motor will run in forward and reverse multiple times and all the parameters like u phase current v phase current w phase current uv voltage vw voltage and w uh, u voltage is noted down along with the frequency so we should also verify if the output frequency matches the set frequency physically so these parameters are monitored in, inside the vfd using a special measuring device and it is not from the uh, monitor group of the vfd there is an external device to measure all So as you can see, I'll move ahead uh, with the test. So here, once the test is complete, we can see that the currents are uh, very similar and the voltages are uh, well balanced, and hence we get a pass range in all the uh, VDAS tests. So next, we have the emergency stop test, where the HDD alarm is triggered. Like as you can see, the motor is running. and during run an hgb is triggered so that the motor stops and user has to confirm that both hgb and the motor has stopped so once hgb alarm is complete we will move on to the io test so the what io test does is it will uh, test your digital input digital output analog input analog output and pulse input pulse output this process is completely automatic and user does not have to press any buttons all our terminals will be automatically tested and automatically pass results will be generated so the user uh, has to just wait until the test is completed and no intervention of or no human intervention is required for this particular test so this test will again take uh, roughly 2 to 3 minutes to complete and once this test is complete i mean the io test is complete you will uh, reach the final screen which is the final test report screen so this test report will give uh, you the uh, final status of all individual tests which have been completed so for example we have the dc voltage between plus v and ac so the measurement was 10 volts so it has passed temperature measure was 28 degree it has passed so every test will have the equivalent value which was read by the vfd and it will be displayed over here for the user to diagnose if any issue has occurred so for example if dc bus voltage test has passed you can see what value has been uh, uh, received over here so suppose we get 480 then we know that there is a 100 volt deviation from the 400 volt class the dc bus and it will be easy to diagnose the issue so this report can be printed uh, by simply printing pressing the print button and print to pdf option and can be saved anywhere in the laptop or computer and this pdf report is uh, what has has to be uploaded in the portal you can directly upload this pdf file to the portal as a test result and that test result will have the certified uh, yaskawa stamp in it so this is uh, just an overview of how this particular user